Next at six, cancer prevention is now a greater public health concern for one rural community. News 3's Andy Choi traveled to Adams County and joins us now with details on this one. What's going on? Yes, yeah, Sarah and Eric, those concerns sparking a new collaboration between public health officials and the UW as new numbers suggest where you live may have a significant impact on your health. The subtle sounds of solitude keep each other company along the lonelier roads of Adams County. One might say it's hard to find something to do. But Jean Heitman has stitched out a nice life in the town of Easton. I'm proud of that. A life put to the test in 1992. And I discovered a painful lump on my right breast. Jean's youngest was six years old when a doctor's diagnosis made it official. And I went to my garden and I just screamed because I, I, that cancer word is a terrible word. Treatment involved multiple trips to Madison's UW Hospital, drives Jean remembers with dread. Because on those drives to Madison, it would take us about an hour and a half to get to the hospital. It was an awful thing to know what I was going to be receiving at the other end. The road to recovery is a long one for cancer patients, and out here in the rural communities, the path is even more daunting. We're finding out in Adams County, the cancer death rate is 46% higher than the state average. And so what does that mean? Does that mean they're not getting screened? Does that mean that they're finding out late? Does that mean that they're not getting adequate treatment? You know, what does that mean? Are we gonna start with like our health board? Adams County public health officials are answering those questions with the help of UW's Carbone Cancer Center. A new outreach program aims to utilize community awareness strategies in hopes to make cancer prevention a top priority in public health. We really wanna increase patient um, empowerment and decision making. So we wanna make sure that they have the knowledge and information necessary to make the right decisions about both preventing cancer and then also screening for cancer. And then we have this three beautiful children. And as Jean reflects on life after cancer, her hope for those along a similar path is that they never feel like taking those roads alone. I want people to see this community as a positive one. There are a lot of good people here, very good people. Wow, a 46% higher risk in Adams County alone. Mm -hmm. First of all, how would they find numbers like that, and do they know why at all? Can they know why? You know, Sarah, these numbers were compiled using funds from the National Cancer Institute. The causes of these numbers still being looked at today. That said, UW health officials tell us cancer disparities were associated with higher than average cancer risk factors like smoking and obesity, low use of preventative health care services, and a lower household income. All of these, Adams County officials acknowledge as concerns within their community. The hope is that folks know that they're not alone. Yeah. Real eye-opener. Andy Choi. Andy, thank you very much.